And welcome to today's game. This is Manning Field, the home of your Lynn Tech Tigers. I'm the Brett Tobin on the action. I'm fired up. Everyone's fired up. 80s fired up. Camera crew's fired up, ready to rock and roll. Today, the Lintec Tigers will be facing PMA. Lintec had a fantastic, nice save right there by the keeper. Had a fantastic game versus the Greater Lawrence Reggies. They were dynamite, dominant. And they won the game 3-1. to one. So let's hope they can continue the momentum for that game. Beautiful day here at Lintech. Here at Manning Field, excuse me, Manning Field, Lintech is playing. Beautiful day, about 70 degrees. Wind is about six miles an hour northwest. Great day out. And crowd slowly filing in. And ready to rock and roll here. It's Carlito into throwing the ball. Looking to get the cross, and couldn't find any of her teammates there. Ball goes out of bounds. So we played two 40 minute halves here. Clock is running. Tell you what, what a great time to be a sports fan in October. I mean, wow. You want to talk about luxury of, of things happening in the sports world? First of all, you got high school sports, which is awesome. And then you have, if you're a professional sports fan, you have baseball, basketball, hockey, and football all playing at the same time. I mean, this is, this is like a dream come true. It's gonna be a corner kick. Lintech is in blue, PMA is in white. Tech trying to get out the zone. Out towards midfield. Oh, what a move right there. What a crossover. Is that Aaron Iverson right there? Jeez Louise. Tigers looking to be aggressive here early on. Ball goes out of bounds, so it's going to be a throw in. for PMA.
again, New Barretto. Bring all the action here today. It's gonna be a goal kick for PMA. Check that for Lynn Tech, I apologize. How to, looking for a team that goes out of bounds though. Just over five minutes left in this, going on in this game. Again, 40 minute halves. Out to the 30. Good job by Tech fighting for it. That's Shay Lee fighting for the ball. There you go. Get it, get it, get it. Go, 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 go. It's Shay Lee on the run right here. Oh, you got to attack it. You can't, you, know, you can't look to pass that. You got to attack the ball. Shaley, a member of the culinary team. Do they do a great job over there? Ball kicked out of bounce. Good job getting out the zone. We are throwing. Goes out of bounce again. This is going to be another corner kick for PMA. PMA stands for, I know everyone's asking, what's PMA stand for? It stands for Presentation of Mary Academy. I want to thank the newbie research team for providing me that information. Corner kick. And the Tigers try to get back into the PMA zone. Being aggressive. They got numbers right here. They push it. Here we go. 30. Pushing the ball, looking for a cross. I'll tell you what. I mean, gosh darn it, you got to attack the ball and not look to the cross. I think she could have just went towards the goal in herself and scored. Don't want to pass the, the ball backwards. Uh oh, opportunity right here. And it goes out of bounds. It's going to be, looks like it's going to be a corner kick for the Tigers. Ball goes out of bounds. It's going to be tying a little bit to do our trivia question, which I'm pretty sure that one's favorite part of the broadcast. Our trivia question will be coming up in about a minute or so after this next play. Corner kick. It'll be a throw in for PMA. I'll tell you what, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous day here today. Meaning, if you're really a gem of Lynn. Ball goes out of bounds. And Tech looks like they'll get the ball. Corner 
corner kick for PMA. Golden scoring opportunity right here. And header. Good defense by the Tigers right there. Ferocious defense by the Tigers. You can feel their roar. Get it? Tiger, roar. Here we go, another's going opportunity right here. And good job by PMA chasing down the ball. Oh, look at the defense right here. Out of bounds. Calito throwing the ball. Ball goes out of bounce. So trivia question is as followed. NBA season is upon us. Next week, the biggest move in the NBA was LeBron James going to the Los Angeles Lakers. But did you know that LeBron James actually has part ownership of a soccer team? What soccer team is that? That is the question of the day. We'll review that answer around the 50-minute mark. Ball goes out of bounds. Oh, wow. Good job by the head coach right there. A little soccer action. See, I still got it. I still got it. Goal kick. So score tied 0-0, 24 minutes left in the first half. Oh, what a move. That's going to be an offsides right there, though. Good execution, um, but just a little ahead of the, a li a little ahead of the defense. Ball goes out of bounds. Oh, good hustle by the Tigers and by PMA. It looks like a football game out there. Oh, what a move. It's going to be offsides, though. Shouldn't get behind the defense. Here we go. This is dangerous. Good job by PMA clearing the ball. Oh, this is fun. This is a good game. Ball goes out of bounds. This is the place to be right now if you're if if, if you're a winner. This is the place to be.
Ball hovering around the midfield right now. Tiger chasing the ball. Good hustle. Here's PMA. Threatening. In trouble. Goes behind the net, though. Could have been dangerous. Out of bounds. Solid throwing right there. Solid throwing. That's good soccer. Defensive battle here. Tigers. Got to have more spacing, though. Coach is pleading for the players to talk. So the answer to the trivia question, what team... Does LeBron James own soccer team? That answer is the is the Liverpool Liverpool Football Club. He owns two percent of it. It's a top tier English soccer team. Its owner, though, is Red Sox owner John. Henry. They bought the team for over $450 million. Just under 20 minutes left in the first half. In trouble. And that's a goal right there by PMA. They strike first. Wow. Unbelievable. One to nothing. PMA takes the lead. So one to nothing, PMA up. Oh my God, we just had special guests join us. Joe Skeet is in the press box, wow. Man, I tell you what, man, when news breaks, we break it. I'm amongst greatness right now. Joe, can you join us for about 30 seconds? Can I give us an update on Lintec Sports? Can you join us in the, in the press box? Please? Listen, I mean, this is, first of all, an awesome, awesome venue. That a lot of Lynn teams use, three the three high schools and then the uh, and then St. Mary's. But uh, how's the season going overall for Lynn sports for the for the fall? Well, so far we Lynn Tech the football team looks like they'll be in the playoffs. 
boys soccer team will be in the playoffs. The volleyball team will be in the playoffs. Our girls are playing well. Playoffs? Playoffs? <laughs> That's right. We'll be in the tourney. Very excited. The girls are getting better over here. They've won more games this year than they have in the past. So we're very excited. Cross country's coming around. And um, that's that. Um, last question. Winter sports is coming up. Um, how can students sign up for that? Um, when's that? When's that starting? Everything will start the Monday after Thanksgiving. There will be swimming, indoor track, boys and girls basketball, and cheerleading. Monday after Thanksgiving in the Lintec Fieldhouse and wrestling. Wrestling is for all three schools, classical, English, and tech. The wrestling coach will be around having meetings coming up pretty soon. So uh, de definitely fun. So, you know, after Thanksgiving, they're going to have to burn out those calories during the weekend for tryouts. They better start getting in shape now. The idea is to be in shape before the first practice so we can learn what uh, X's and O's. Well, you're doing a great job. And um, you can go back to signing all the autographs. I know you have, you have a, a, a fan club in the back. There's a line out the door. I got to go, go there now. Thank you. All right. I say D right there doing a great job for Lynn Sports, Lynn Tech Sports. See if the tires can get on the board here and tie up the game. So it's going to be a free kick right here. Golden scoring opportunity for the Tigers. Shot saved by the keeper. What a save right there. Solid shot straight on. Everyone's all fired up here. Everyone's all fired up in the stands. One thing, the TV media dream team doing a great job like always. Ty J. And Madeline doing a great job. Good hustle right there by Adriana. Chasing down the ball, goes out of bounds. Might be a corner kick for PMA. About 14 minutes left in the first half. Straight on kick and good job by the Tigers getting out the zone. Yeah, they're gonna call an offside here. Free kick right here for PMA. Shot. And good save right there by the keeper. It was wide right though. Be a goal kick right here. Good 
Good job by the Tigers fighting for the ball. Danger's right here looking for the cross. Good job Clear, clearing the ball, eliminating the threat. Another shot. Nice strong kick though, wide right. Adriana and it goes out of bounds. Come up on 10 minutes left in the first half. Score one to nothing. Once again, I'm Newberry at Toe bringing you all the action. Shot and just off the mark. Ball goes out of bounds. Ten minutes left in the first half. Score one to nothing. Again, Lintech versus PMA. Little helter skelter right there. Falls for the old okie doke. Uh, it's coming offsides. No offsides is called. They have an opportunity to cross right here. They got numbers. They got big numbers. They're going to cross a great defense by PMA right there. Dynamite. It's going to be a corner kick for the Tigers. A strong kick, though, but not that accurate. Goes at a bounce. About seven minutes left in the first half. Score one to nothing still.
Tigers got to be a little more aggressive here going to halftime. Try to get a goal up here. We'll try to chase it down and it goes out of bounds. Be a throw in for PMA. It's going to be all sides right there. That's the third all sides of the first half. Sun's back, shining, beaming. Here on Manning Field, again, a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous day. October, leaves are starting to uh, turn different colors. Great fall afternoon here at Manning Field. Whistle here. That's going to go. It's going to go against PMA. And Tigers will get the ball back. Five thirty left in the first half. Score one to nothing. PMA up by one. Both teams play pretty good defensive soccer. I do think Tech should be a little more aggressive on the offensive side. Let's see if they can get a, a tie game here during halftime. Job on the tag is clearing it out of the zone. Top two in the cross. Tigers deflect it. Give me a corner kick right here. Shot. And saved by the keeper. What a save. So two minutes left on the, another save by the keeper right there. I'll tell you what, this goalkeeper 
down at my job for the Tech Tigers. Goalkeeper is uh Oh, we don't have her number here. Nonetheless, she's doing a good job. We'll leave it at that. Great defense right there by the Tigers. I mean, almost a quadruple team right there. Suffocating defense. So halftime should be any minute now. Uh, official time is kept on the field after two minutes. And that'll do it for halftime. Score one and nothing. Tech Tech is down. Let's hope they can get back on the board and tie the game and take the lead in the second half. We'll see you in a moment. And we're back here. Score two, excuse me, not two to nothing, one to nothing. Tigers are down. And the Tigers are going to try to get back into this game and tie this up. Again, Tigers are in blue. Tigers are in blue and PMAs in white. I had a chance to speak to Special guest Justin Barrasso during halftime. He's all fired up about the game. So he's going to join us in a little bit to kind of give us an update on what's going on here at Lynn Tech as he's one of the advisors for, one of the class advisors. So he's all fired up. So we got to get him all fired up on the microphone. Free kick right here. So this half, PMA will be going from right to left. Tech will be going from left to right. Free kick. And I say by the keeper. Dangerous, though. And she picks it up. Wow, that was a little too close for comfort.
And oh my God, we just have Justin Barrasso join us in the press box right here. Wow, I mean, you want to talk about, you know, big timers right here. I mean, there's Cosell, there's Marv Albert, and then there's Justin Barrasso. I mean, one, two, and three. Um, More of a Dennis Miller on Monday Night Football type than anything else, but happy to be here at, at Manning Field. The, girl, the ladies look good. I'd like to see a goal here, uh, newbie, but uh, girls looking good. Hey, they had a dynamite game yesterday, not yesterday, last week, excuse me, versus Greater Lawrence. Um, I think they're going to really carry the momentum for, for today's game. I think um, they're playing good defense. It's just a matter of, you know, getting the ball in the net, but I think they're right there. I think it's only a matter of time. I'm with you. Shots on net's the key. Sandy's got to gotta put the Carolina got to put more shots on net. Here we go right now. Here we go. This is an opportunity right here. One on one. Shot. Goal! Golasso! This is what happened when Barossa comes to the press box. Nothing but great things happen. Jeez Louise! Cheese and crackers! We're here! Pump up the volume! Sometimes you just need one to open the floodgates. They've outplayed PMA so far. Nice they can finally get on the board. I tell you what, I mean, that, that's a huge momentum builder right there. This is what happened actually last week versus Greater Lawrence. There was one goal and then the floodgates opened up and they scored three goals in the second half. I couldn't quite see who scored the goal. I, I was too busy losing my mind. Juan Lopez, Adriana Torres are my two guesses, but I'm not, it's tough without a program. It's tough from this. I think it was Juan Lopez. From this perspective, is uh, yeah, we gotta get binoculars next time. You ain't kidding. But um, Justin, you were one of the uh, advisors, I believe, for um, the for homecoming, correct? Yes. yes. So talk about how that how how'd that go. We actually had the dance on a Thursday night, mm -hmm. and it was a big hit because I think we were kind of the only show in town. You know, games games had already been played. It wasn't the weekend. We had over 130 students, and we crowned actually two TV media students, two of your students, Gabriela Flores Ramirez and Amari Gaston as our king and queen. Just a great night, and kind of another reason why I think Lynn Tech's one of the one of the best kept secrets in Lynn. And uh, I thought that night our students really showed why uh, they're they're generous, they're kind. Uh, they're talented, and we get to see a little bit of everything at homecoming. I'll tell you what, but one thing I do disagree, I don't think Lynn Tech's a great speaker right now. I think they're really, you know, really coming on strong in the city of Lynn. I, I think both schools in general are really the new thing. You know, it, it's, it's really an exciting time to be part of education. We, you know, we both teach. You, you teach English, and I teach TV production. But it's an exciting time to be part of a vocational school because the amount of talent that comes here um, is just awesome. And I agree. And we're so small, too, in, in, in comparison. I know some of our opponents are also small, too. But in terms of Lynn, you know, Lynn Tech's so much smaller than classical English. So it's nice to see when the, the kids have worked so hard. Football, soccer's growing. Volleyball, Kathy Peroni's had a really nice year. So it's fun to see our kids compete, absolutely. And I'm obviously very biased, but as are you. But uh, that's not always a bad thing. Before we let you go, a few, uh, two more questions. Winter sports coming up. Um, how's the basketball team looking? Are you, are you still going to be uh, part of the freshman crew? JV coach, a lot of expectations of the JV squad. We had uh, in conference, we were 10-0 last season. That'll be tough to do again, uh, but you know we're going to take it one step at a time, especially we'll probably have a new crew. Hopefully a lot of our girls from JV move up to varsity. Uh, the varsity squad, you know, I, I think there's we took some uh, steps back last year, hopefully to take some steps forward this year. We've got the right coach and Caitlin Wexler, and uh, hopefully we can get back to the tournament. That's the goal every season, and uh, that's our goal preseason right now. Get those 10 wins, get back in the tournament. Absolutely, that was definitely, uh, you guys had a dynamite season, uh, you know, two years ago getting back to the tournament. So, you know, I think it's going to be a rebound year. I'm excited about the season. I think the boys' team is also going to look good, and I'm excited for winter sports. I agree. I, I can't wait. I think the boys' team, you know, losing that tournament game to Newburyport in such a tight atmosphere on the road, I think it only serves them, you know, it only helps them this season. I agree. Uh, that, that boys' team, you know, senior heavy, and I expect big things from them. I should mention, too, people watching this at all, I'm sure you mentioned it, but the – Camera work. I have Madeline in class. Ty J. I had Ty J. Two different years in English. It's amazing these kids can do the work of, of professionals in the industry. I think that should be mentioned as well. It's. I mean, you're the one here talking. They're making you look good. We're making us look good. It's amazing how how hard they work and it's and how very they do difficult job. to do that to make us look good. So <laughs> they're doing a dot in my job. I tell you what, you know, I'm always telling them, you know, they're so much more talented than I ever was at their age. I mean, just light years ahead of me. So uh, 
that you know dynamite crew. I always call him the Lin Tech Dream Team, and, and I really think it really so. Is. That that goal was Juan Lopez. Now that I see your a closer view, that was Juan who scored the goal. Ooh, another shot on net for Tech. Nice save right there. So, uh, last question. I know, I know you, you you're busy. You got plenty of autographs to sign, and, and, and you know you got a line waiting for you. But um, a nice hot apple cider in my hand. Too. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention. Um, you know, I think October is probably the best month in terms of sports. Period. But football, hockey, basketball, and, and baseball going for prof professional sports. Can I get your prediction on the Boston Red Sox? Uh, I'm a you know, uh, but I love the Red Sox and grew up a fan, and I've worked at Fenway in some capacity since '03. I think they knock out the Yankees tonight. Tonight is uh, today is Wednesday. I think we 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 bury the Yanks tonight. I do worry about the Houston Astros. I think that's the best team, not only in the American League, the best team in baseball. But, um, you know, in a seven-game series, let's take our chances. Maybe David Price can pitch against the Astros. He sure can against the Yankees. Uh, I'd like to see our chances. Right now, I think it's a rematch. I think it's an Astros-Dodgers rematch. But, hey, that's why they play the games. Last night was such a wonderful example of, you know, sport versus entertainment. And I love entertainment. But, man, there's nothing like true sport. Who would have ever predicted a 16-1 to victory, a cycle by Brock Holt, Nate uh, Avaldi pitching the game of his life. So I, I love sports, and last night was a, you know, a, a perfect reason why. Corner kick right here, and it was funny. Um, I'm not a huge baseball person, but I love the baseball playoffs. I mean, it, it, it's, it's really, I love playoffs in general. I've always said this, none better than high school playoffs. I mean, any sport, soccer, football, basketball, it, it, it's part of the purest you know, atmosphere you can have. And it's it's so meaningful too because for football when you know when you take those pads off as a senior, that might be the last time you ever wear them. Maybe the last time you ever suit up and play on a basketball team after your your senior team that senior year you get knocked out of the state tournament. There's just so much emotion in high school sports, and it's the last kind of pure run we have. We're gonna make a big stop here as PMA makes a run. Big save by Lynn Tech. Nice I, save right there. I agree. It's the last really pure stretch. College things kind of get a little tricky. Uh, the professionals, if anyone's lucky enough to play there, it's it's a business. But high school is just that last pure year, our uh, last pure years of of pure sport. And uh, I agree, I'm with you. I love the state tournaments, and I hope uh, by next year these young ladies are playing in the MIA state tournament. Absolutely. So, Justin, appreciate you joining us in the press box. Come back. You're always welcome. And, uh, and, and good luck uh, during basketball season. Thank you. Hope we connect soon. All righty. So just about 29 minutes left in the second half. Score one to one. We'll find out. I don't believe there's overtime during the regular season. Throwing right here. Twenty minutes left. Twenty-eight minutes left in the game. All tied at one. PMA one. Lintec one. Great defense right there. Oh, that was down in my defense. I'll tell you what, um, Carolina, nicknamed Nina, she's had a really a dynamite game defensively. Corner kick. Stopped by the Tigers.
Carlito throwing the ball. Once again, Lou Barretto bringing the action here. With, I want to give a shout out to, again, once again, the TV media dream team, Madeline Taje. Carolina, will inbound the ball. Inbound the ball. I'm thinking basketball. We'll throw in the ball. Hello. It's not December yet. Come on, Ratto. Step up. Ball goes out of bounds. Once again, we're at the beautiful Manning Field. Tech Tigers in blue versus PMA in white. Good close up by the Tigers right there. Better offense though. Look at her fly. Still dangerous opportunity, but Tigers come flying back. Try to clear it out the zone. Look at the attack though. Shout out to Claire Price. Best scorekeeper in the world ever. Coming up on 20 minutes left in the game. A little bit, we're going to have our trivia question, which everyone's excited about. Especially Tajay, he's all fired up about the trivia questions. Actually, a favorite part of the broadcast is the trivia question. He actually came to today's game for the trivia question, from what I hear. That's what they tell me. I just report the news. So trivia question is as followed. Steve Nash, NBA MVP, now retired in the Hall of Fame, Basketball Hall of Famer played for the Phoenix Suns and Dallas Mavericks and briefly, briefly for the Los Angeles Lakers. First sport was not basketball. What was his first sport and what team did he play for? The question of the day. I'll repeat that. Steve Nash, former 
NBA MVP. His first sport was not basketball. What was his sport and what team did he play for? And what country was it from? Ah. Put a little extra wrench to that question. You weren't ready for that. So Tigers will try to take the lead here. Put him in something the first half. And Tigers are down. Tell you what, crowd's fouling nicely. Beautiful day here, October day. Almost, it almost seems like it's, 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 it's still early September, even late August, the way the weather is. So you answer that trivia question. Is Steve Nash first sport was, hello, soccer, and played in Canada. No, he's actually attributed his footwork to his soccer playing days. It's going to be a free kick right here. Tigers right now really want to take this lead. And gain some momentum this season. I mean, this would be huge, I think, for the morale. Oh, come on. Let them play. Jeez Louise. Nice, strong kick. Goes out of bounds, so it'll be a Tiger throw-in. Ball goes out of bounds again.
about 60 minutes left in the game. All tied at one. Both teams, a defensive battle right here. Very exciting game. Yeah, they're going to call an offsides on that one. That's, that was probably their fourth offsides of the game. Ball hits the bench right there. Under 50 minutes left in the game. All tied at one still. Nice strong kick right there. And that's going to go out of bounds. Almost a golden opportunity for a score right there. Good hustle by the Tigers though. Corner kick going up 20 for the Tigers right here to take the lead. This is huge. Shot and deflected. Rebound shot and behind the net. It's going to go wide left.
11 minutes left, one to one, another free kick. So Tigers are gonna have some opportunities right here. It's how much do they want it? Shot. There's an opportunity right here. Golden opportunity right here. Shot saved by the keeper. Oh, Nelly. Oh, wow, that was, a, that was a meatball right there. Golden opportunity. Here we go. Tigers have a shot right here. They got to push it. Goal! Wait, hold on. Is it a goal or is it all sides? All right, I spoke too soon. Easy, guys. Calm down. Is it a goal or is it all sides? We're going to get, get official word from the research team here. We're going to try to get word from the research team here. Was it a goal or was it all sides? It was a goal. It was a goal. Hey, as of right now, it's two to one. I'm fired up right now. I'm fired up. You fired up, Ty? I'm fired up. Ty J's fired up right now. Bonnie came all fired up. That was a goal by Sandy right there. I'm all fired up. Let's go. Pump up the volume. Raise the roof. Let's go. Pump up the volume. Step up. Step up. Tigers want more. They smell blood right now. Shot. And they missed the cross. Still got an opportunity. Here to go. Shot. Saved by the keeper. Oh, wow. This is fun, guys. This is, this is good soccer. This game needs overtime. Oh, what a pass right there! Oh, what a golden pass! This is good soccer right now. Tigers are finally finding their mojo. It just looks like right now Tigers are just in better shape. And are just, they're not tired. And, and right now PMA looks tired. Uh oh, this is dangerous on our end. Oh, wow, what a save. Oh, Nelly, what a save right there. That takes guts. Uh oh. Good job by the goalie right there, avoiding trouble. Yeah, it's going to be an offside. I don't agree with that call at all. I don't agree with that call at all. We're not one iota. What the heck is an iota by the mean? I, I've always heard that. Not one iota. What does that mean? What does that mean?
Coming up on five minutes left in the game. Again, official time is stopped on the clock. Stopped at, on the field, excuse me. Um, at two minutes, the clock. Let me start the sentence over again. At two minutes, the clock stops and it's kept on the field. How about that? Jeez, I'm, you know, it's been a long day, guys. Okay, it's been a long day. Oh, what a great defensive play right there. Great defensive prowess. Uh-oh! Save by the keeper again! She's unstoppable! Cool, calm, controlled, calculated confidence. Here we go, golden opportunity. One on one, oh, wide right, oh, she knew it too. Got a little too excited. Barroso is barking from the press box right now. He's all fired up right now. Someone has to tame him. Calm him down. Calm down, Barroso. Calm down. It's going to be okay. Calm down. It's going to be all right. It's going to be okay, Barroso. Calm down. Three thirty left in the game. Two to one. Barroso's all fired up. He's barking from the press box. All fired up, ready to go. Wow, what a move! Oh, Allen Iverson moves on the soccer field right there. A little killer crossover. Looking to cross the ball now. Goes out of bounds. Oh, what a move. What a play. What a sport. Pump up the volume. Let's go. Step up. Step up. Let's go. Oh, what a pass right there. What a pass. Oh, no call. Oh, no call. No. No. You got to call that one. This is blasphemy right now. This is. Oh, can't even talk. You got to call that one. Two minutes left, clock officially kept on the field. Oh, Tigers want to insurance goal right here, but it's going to be an offsides. I want to thank the TV media dream team doing a great job again. Again. Ty J and Madeline doing a great job again. Do they get tired of winning all the time? Aren't you guys tired of winning? Do they get tired of winning? Does winning get tiring all the time? And the winner is Ty J and Madeline again. You stop winning so much? Sick Tower is winning.
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And nice save right there. I'll tell you what, this head coach for Tech Tigers, he's coaching his tail off today. Someone gave him a nice coffee after the game. Ball goes out of bounds. It's got to be uh, close to less than a minute left in this game, so Tigers are just trying to hold on right now. They're up 2-1. to one. To be quite frankly, it should, probably should be 4-1 to one with the amount of opportunities the Tigers had. So. But a win's a win's a win, so hopefully they can hold on to this. Got to click and clear the zone. Ball game. Ball game. Check, mate, point, match. Tigers 2. PMA won. Tigers, their war here at Manning Field. Get it? Tiger, war, get it? Tiger, roar. For everyone here, I'm Lou Barretto. I want to thank the crew doing a dynamite job again. I'm Lou Barretto. I don't want to talk anymore, and you don't want to hear me anymore. Goodbye. <laughs>